welcome back. Many of you are getting ready to set the table for your holiday celebrations this weekend. So we called in some help to give inspiration. This is CEO and co-founder of Table and Teaspoon, Liz Curtis. She's going to help us out this morning. Liz, thank you for joining us. Tell me first of all what Table and Teaspoon is. So Table and Teaspoon was invented for people who either have no idea how to host and want to, or host all the time and want a new aesthetic every time. So what you do is you go on our site, you pick one of nine different table setting designs, and then we send you everything that you need to throw a beautiful party. Wow. So everything that you see on this table mm -hmm. uh, as the foundation is what you would get in this black shipping box. Once you throw your party with step-by-step -step instructions, you put it back in the box, unwashed, and send it away. Oh, that's so nice. Making it easy is really the key, right? Because yes. I think some people feel intimidated and they're like, I don't have this stuff, I don't wanna buy this stuff, so you're, you're making it easy. We are making it easy and honestly, Entertaining is never effortless, right? We all say it's effortless uh, in my profession, but it's not, and we understand that. So my job is to make it easier for you to entertain so that it's not effortless, but it is less stressful. So you are kind of renting out the, the, the basic um, tableware and, the, and kind of the settings, but then tell me about how we can elevate it, because you actually said that some of the extras on this table, anybody can get or get from around their house, right? Yeah, I like to say that you don't need to hire the best florist. You don't have to go all out uh, with your decor. These are all from a local grocery store. So stick to one color, maybe skip the greens, which can get messy and all over your mm -hmm. table put it together in either floral foam or make a tape cross on your vase and you are good to go. Ornaments from your tree, if you feel like your table's just sort of bare, grab mm -hmm. something from your tree, grab something from your bookshelf, whatever speaks to you as your style, put it on your centerpiece and your table will feel like you for your guests. Another trick that I love is putting produce on your table. <laughs> uh, these are pears with the end cut off so they stand perfectly. You can also use apples, um, oranges with the stem on is popular. And it just kind of gives that pop of color, right? Yeah, and it's super inexpensive. And then you were telling me that you provide kind of basic glassware, but if you add just a little bit more, it kind of adds that little shimmer, right? Yeah, so for a setting of four, you would get these candlesticks and candles with a table and teaspoon setting. Mm -hmm. If you add more candles that you have around the house, votives, uh, you can order them from our pantry collection, which is to keep instead of to rent. Um, and then any glassware you have in your cabinets will catch the light. We always say play with light and height. People eat with their eyes as much as their mouths. So that's what you were saying is like some of these things, if you just add your own stuff, you can take kind of what you've created and make it look even more personal and even, even a little shinier and brighter. Yeah, shiny, bright, perfect for the holidays. And you were actually telling me before, before we uh, introduced the setting that you didn't do this before. You were a lawyer in your past career life, but just kind of like the idea of hosting and, and helping people. And I'm guessing that was a fun career change for you. It was. My favorite thing to do is entertain for people that I love and give them the experience that they'll remember of being around a table, sharing a meal, seeing something beautiful, taking pictures for Instagram. Um, everyone loves it. It makes everyone happy. And so waking up and doing that instead of filing legal briefs is uh, certainly <laughs> a career change that well, I loved. I think there is sometimes some pressure with Instagram now that you want to make everything look good. So I'm glad that you're saying that this is possible with a little bit of help. And I think also you're supposed to have fun, right? That's what always. the hosting is supposed to be. Yes. So you're helping us remember that as well. Yes. I always say like, do some yoga, do some breathing techniques, take a shot, whatever you need to do, make sure you are present for your guests because that's what they're going to remember, not whether or not you had a pair on your plate or a perfect centerpiece. Well, good. Tell us again about how people can get in touch with you. So if they want to do this, it's a little bit too late for Christmas, but New Year's right around the corner and then yeah. lots of things in 2024. Yeah, Valentine's, Galentine's, bachelorette parties, whatever you would like to celebrate, we will ship this to you nationwide. Again, we have nine different settings to choose from, wide range of designs for every aesthetic and and you can order at tableandteaspoon.com. And we're gonna put that information on the screen. This is very beautiful. I hope that you get to enjoy the holiday season. Yes. And I also love the idea that you can just ship it all back dirty. <laughs> One less thing to have on your plate, literally. This yes. year. Thank you so much for joining us, Liz. Thank you. All the information that we talked about in this segment is going to be on our website, kcalnews.com slash scene on TV.